most exciting destination in all of northern Wisconsin. LCL Casino Lodge and Convention Center Hayward. LCO. Hello, I'm Kimberly, and welcome to the weekend edition of the NAVE News Update. It's Friday, August 5th, and many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. And here's the news for today from the Associated Press and other Native news sources. After more than 10 years of planning, the Lac de Flambeau community hosted a special ceremony as they begin construction of a new Indian Bowl. Organizers say the new Waswaganing Indian Bowl will include a living art and cultural center, which will honor heritage and tradition while providing a first-class venue for expression of living culture through the arts. The Indian Bowl site has drawn in tourists since the 1950s with its traditional dance performances and cultural events. The original structure was demolished nearly two years ago, and the rebuild has been in the planning stages for decades. Designed by the Meyer Group Architecture, the new Indian Bowl will be built by the Lac de Flambeau Tribe Construction Company known as LDF CCI Construction, and will have an additional 10,000 square feet. President Robert Elm says the redesign will incorporate recycled demolition materials from the previous Indian Bowl and will have locally sourced building products and technologies. The construction is expected to be completed by next spring. Award-winning Ojibwe author, poet, and playwright Jim Northrup passed away August 1st at the age of 73. Northrup, a member of the Fond du Lac Band of Lake Superior Chippewa and a Marine who served in the Vietnam War, was a passionate keeper of the Anishinaabe tradition. He and his wife started a summer Ojibwe language camp on their reservation, took part in the yearly sugar bush to make maple syrup, harvested wild rice, and he was known for making birch bark winnowing baskets. Northrup was a student of the Ojibwe language for nearly two decades. His books include Walking the Res Road, Res Road Follies, Anishinaabe Syndicated, A View from the Res, Dirty Copper, and Res Salute, The Real Healer Dealer. His column, Fond du Lac Follies, was also syndicated in several Native American newspapers. Northrop had kidney cancer that spread to his lungs, lymph nodes, and brain. He spoke about his battle with cancer in an interview with the News Tribune earlier this year, as others shared their appreciation for his work. A company called Zipline plans to begin delivering blood and medicine through drones to rural parts of the United States, the same way it does with remote areas of Rwanda. Zipline plans to deliver medical supplies to remote and rural communities like Maryland, Smith Island, Native American reservations in Nevada, and the San Juan Islands in Washington. The company chose these three areas as places to start with, the hoping the need for efficient deliveries there would lead to quicker FAA approval, which it expects to get in six months. Zipline's tiny drones, which the company calls Zips, fly at a little over 60 miles an hour with twin electric motors and a wind span of almost eight feet. Earlier this year, the company signed a deal with the Rwandan government to take care of 50 to 150 daily deliveries of blood and emergency medicine to various hospitals and clinics. Notably, the drones do not land, but parachute their payloads from the low altitude expediting their trips. California will soon have two drug and alcohol treatment centers for Native American youth ages 12 to 17 years old. Indian Health Service will oversee the centers that will have staff that include teachers, psychiatrists, nurses, and cultural advisors. In a report by the Center for Native American Youth at the Aspen Institute, 22.9% of youth ages 12 and older reported alcohol use, 18.4% reported binge drinking, 16% reported substance dependence, and 12.5% reported illicit drug use. Indian Health Service recently completed construction on Desert Sage Youth Wellness Center in Hemet, California, which is the state's first treatment center for Native American youth. It will begin accepting patients later this year. The second facility is scheduled to open in 2018 near Davis on the former site of DQ University, a college for Native Americans that shut down in 2005. In a barbecue showdown between two of the nation's top barbecue franchises, Famous Dave's of America and Sonny's Barbecue, the Crew du Rey Ojibwe member Dave Anderson, founder of Famous Dave's, along with championship pitmaster and franchisee David Marks, took home top honors 
winning the title of Smoke Champion in Destination America's hit TV series, Smoked. In the season finale of Smoked, which aired August 3rd, two of America's most popular restaurant franchises, Famous Dave's and Sonny's Barbecue, embarked on the quest to determine who would earn the title of Smoked Champion in a head-to-head -head competition for the title. As part of the season finale, the competitors were not only battling for the title of Smoke Champion, but also to raise money for charitable causes, with the winner receiving $5,000 to donate to their designated charity, and the loser donating an additional $5,000 out of their pocket to the winner's charity. As the Smoke Champion, Famous Dave's directed both its $5,000 award and the out-of-pocket $5,000 from Sonny's to the nonprofit Operation Barbecue Relief. In a surprise twist, the team from Famous Dave's decided to donate an additional $5,000 to Sonny's charity of choice, Random Acts of Barbecue, and a total of over $15,000 was donated to charitable causes. First Nations actor Adam Beach is among the cast of the newly released movie Suicide Squad, a film based on the DC comic book. Beach, who hails from the Dog Creek Lake Reserve in Manitoba, has a lengthy acting resume, including starring in the 1998 Sundance Film Festival breakout, Smoke Signals. Beach has broken through the mainstream before, starring in such films as the 2002's Wind Talkers with Nicolas Cage and 2006 Flags of Our Fathers, directed by Clint Eastwood. Plus, he starred as a Mohawk detective on the popular Law & Order Special Victims Unit TV series. Beach plays Slipknot in Suicide Squad, who is one of the lesser known DC characters, but he is one of the supervillains recruited by Amanda Waller, played by Viola Davis, to join her team of misfit operatives. And that's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Name News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me and have a grand day.